What is going on my dudes? One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Shang Tsung in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you some tips and tricks to be aware of, some best strategies to put in place, and of course some fun and easy combos that you can do today. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is where you're going to see the universal language that we're going to be using so that everybody knows what we're talking about. Now let's take a moment and understand that Shang Tsung is going to be one of the more complicated characters in the game for the sole reason that his main gimmick is going to be taking the essence of your opponent, meaning you turn into your opponent. And in doing so, you really want to have a good basic understanding of almost every character in the game. That way, no matter who you fight, you can utilize Shang soon to his best potential because your morph move your forward down back four if you enhance it you actually do i think it's uh 15 20 more damage with your opponent's moves than they would normally like we're gonna meet a bird i'll show you a combo Four hundred and twenty damage for a scorpion combo just because we were morphed into them with our meter burn more So again to reiterate he's complicated in the way that you want to understand each character To a good potential so you know how to fight your opponent and become your opponent But we'll get more into that in just a second Let's go ahead and start off with the bread and butter for Shang Tsung Keep in mind not only can he turn to your opponent But he can also transform into young Shang Tsung into old Shang Tsung and he can do that really fast I'm talking like mid combo <laughs> The transform is down stance. And again, you could do that mid combo and then continue the combo from there. So once you can get his stance changing down mid combos, you're gonna be an absolute menace. But I promise you that will take practice, but it will be worth it. When it comes to some bread and butter mix up for Shang Tsung, in young form, he's got forward three, which is just a good solid overhead. Doesn't allow for combos, unfortunately, but it still might catch your opponent off guard. Your biggest move with Shang Tsung in young form is gonna be your back one, two. As you can see, it puts our opponent in the air for air juggling and ground combo. While we're on the subject of air combos, you can see here for Shang Tsung, we only have two real options. We have one, two, two, or just two, two in the air. And both of those kind of push your opponent away. You can do your fireball in the air, your down forward one, which is typically what I do. So let's go ahead and do back one, two, jump up, one, two, two. You see there, it kind of pushed our opponent away. So I like to do one, two, down back one or down forward one. So back one, two, jump up, one, two, down forward one, just for a nice fireball in the air for a good combo. Now if we were to do it just to two, two in the air, again, same thing, it kind of pushes our opponent away, not really allowing us for a combo. So with that being said, you can kind of see here, you can kind of sense that Shang Tsung is more of a grounded character. He likes to be on the ground most of the time. His biggest gimmick is literally changing himself old and young, throwing your opponent off guard, and of course, changing into your opponent and making him go, what? With some lows, we have our back two, two, three. That's a nice low, but again, kind of an ender, not really a combo starter, unfortunately. You do have a special low, down back three, the bed of spike. It's not crazy useful, it doesn't pop you up or anything. It kind of gets you away from your opponent, creates that spacing that you might want to then change into your opponent or change form. So if they're really pressuring you, get away from them, change forms, get them over here, do a combo. It's one of your best ways to create that spacing. Another way to create good spacing is your fireballs. You have down forward one, down back one for two fireballs. Then you have down back forward one, for three fireballs and you can enhance all of those for more fireballs when you're old your low option is gonna be a two four you can do two four down forward one as you see there we're kind of dragging our opponent towards us and we can do more combos while they're in the air like that so great just a, just a great way to combo while you're in old form your down back three injects your opponent and then pushes them away. But the cool thing is if you enhance it, it's an easy way to become your opponent and then do more damage because you're enhancing it. So you're getting that damage buff while you're the opponent. So while I'm old, I like to do two, four, down back one, four, down back three, enhance it. Now we're our opponent for our damage buff. And again, this all stemmed from the low starter two, four. That's a low, allowing us to combo from that low. While you're old, another great low starter is your forward three option here. That's a low, but that can cancel into your fireballs again allowing great combos to stem from a low attack. And you can actually do that multiple times too. While you're young, your best combo stars will be your back one, two, your two, four into fireball. And then while you're old again, we got the forward three. We have a down forward one option. Keep in mind, if you enhance him while you're old, you're down back one, for an example. We hit three times, get a major pop up for more combo potential. Another side note, you're down forward one enhanced while old is full screen, carries the opponent all the way towards you for a combo. Kind of crazy, to be honest. 
Your best wake ups for both young and old Shang Tsung is your down forward two option, the swiping, because you get armor on the enhancement of it, even when you're old. Another great option that I like to do for a wake up tech that doesn't have armor, but it's great for a wake up, is your down back three option, your bed of spikes, because again, that flips you backwards and creates that spacing. So if they try to rush you, try to put pressure on you while you're down, just do down back three, get away from them, and hopefully damage them in the process and stop them in their tracks. So here's how the down four two looks. And then the down back one, the better spikes. So when it comes to strategies for Shang Tsung, again, your biggest staple is turning into your opponent and just using them against themselves and utilizing your young and old forms depending on the situation. Because a good side note, by the way, for young and old forms for Shang Tsung is your inputs for combos don't change. Meaning our back one, two in young form is a pop-up, but while we're old, our back one, two, same input, different results. So it's not a matter of like how you're gonna do it because the inputs are gonna be the same. It's a matter of what you wanna do, like what combo do you wanna do? So now you know what form you wanna be in. And again, you can change that during the combo itself. So when they land or you want pressure, you have changed forms to allow yourself to do whatever you wanna do in those forms. I like to change forms mid combo and then do my old man Shang Tsung's down back three enhanced to be our opponent, then do crazy combos from there just to have that extra damage. Also another strategy that some Shang Tsung's might want to use is he's kind of a zoner i mean you got one option you got two options you have three options you have air fireballs you have from the ground fireballs you can carry your opponent towards you with fireballs you can keep your opponent away from you with fireballs I'm not saying abuse it. I'm saying that he does have the potential to be a pretty good zoner. And then when he gets in close, he'll just muff you up. Now, when we go over combos, keep in mind, I'm gonna be showcasing Shang Tsung's combos a lot because the combos where you form into your opponent are gonna vary depending on who your opponent actually is. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into some fun and easy combos that you can start today. Guys, let me know what you think of Shang Tsung down below in the comments. Do you like him? Do you hate him? Are you going to make him? Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.